cell phones and EMFs broadly are indeed the cigarettes of the 21st century. But what can you do? We're gonna give you some good, simple, practical strategies. I was doing everything right health-wise. I was eating well, I was exercising. And my health just kept declining and I kept you know, having issues with fatigue, et cetera. Uh, I remember putting a cell phone next to my head one time and just you know, feeling that. So it took several years to get to the point where I started accepting that this was a, a thing. It, the magnetic fields are usually one of the things that are, are, are kind of a big factor because they go really through your body, um, like an MRI. Wireless, I tell people to think of it like it's light at a lower frequency than you can see. Um, and, but very, you know, pulsing very rapidly. If you could see it, you'd see it flickering and it would be kind of quite harsh. These things don't need to be on all the time. That's just kind of laziness on our part and it's also wasteful electrically. People say, well, I'm not sleeping well. I'm like, well, are you using your phone as an alarm clock? Uh, and it's usually yes. I like to make sure people create space for themselves, kind of an electronic free zone around their beds. The term is off and away. So you either turn it off or move it away. And that'll help you without spending any money, see how much this is impacting your body.